Okay, I'm back. So, let's talk about sleep. Do you know how important sleep is? I'm sure every single mom, everybody knows what it's like not to have enough sleep. And you feel like crap. You're tired, you're grouchy, you're hitting your second, third, fourth, fifth, an entire pot of coffee, diet coke, whatever you reach for for that caffeine boost. Chocolate's another option. But sleep is important not just because you are tired and you're lagging. Sleep is when your body heals itself. When you get a deep, restful sleep, it's in those deep moments that your body starts to repair itself. Feel the ick coming on? Deep sleep can help your body fight that. You are just overall run down. Raise your hand if you don't sleep because kids, because life, because something comes up and once it's okay. But day after day after day, you just get worn down. You get grumpy, you get moody, you have your ups and your downs. And if you're me, nobody wants to be around you. And if you're me, you get below the wellness line. That's when things creep up and bite me. That's when things are able to take hold that don't normally take hold. So sleep is important. I, I posted a graphic a little bit earlier uh, in the day about sleep and what happens when you don't get sleep. Now everybody's amount of sleep they need is different. Eight hours, six hours, 12 hours. Kids need a lot more than we do. Um, my husband's optimal amount of sleep is about six days, maybe seven hours. He can function on a lot less, a lot longer than I can. Um, but that's what his is. Mine's more. There's actual new studies that say women need more sleep than men. So get your sleep. If you're having trouble falling asleep, if you're having trouble staying asleep, there are things that you can do to help. A big non-oily thing, and this is huge, is if you are somebody who uses their phone all the time or watches TV right before bed or uses the computer, it produces blue light. Blue light stimulates. Blue light awakens. So turn it off. Turn off your TV earlier. Turn your computer or your iPhone or your iPad or your Galaxy or whatever you have to, there's a blue setting. You can actually put it to a nighttime setting that takes away the blue. Or go all out and get glasses. They have glasses that reduce the blue glare. Usually about two hours before bed is the best time to start that, to kind of the, start the unwinding process. Another thing that we do all the time, tea. We are tea drinkers. Um, chamomile is a well-known one. Sleepy-esque, I'm not gonna say the name, but sleepy formulas. They have those. Those generally are chamomile-based and those help you wind down. A warm drink before bed, great. If you are somebody who can't and then gets up eight times a night, don't do that, but find a way to unwind. Your bed is for sleep. I'm just gonna leave it there. Your bed is for sleep. Don't watch TV. If you're gonna read, because that's how you unwind, try reading in a chair next to your bed or on the couch or something like that. Train your body that your bed is sleep, not somewhere to read your phone, do your bills, catch up on the news, sleep. Okay, so for the oily aspect of this, again earlier, I found it. My husband takes MU Pro. It has melatonin in it. Melatonin is a natural product that helps you rest easy. That product also helps build up your immune system, which is what your body is doing naturally when it sleeps. Um, there's other ones called Sleep Essence that you can take that are specifically for that. A wonderful one, uh, just pure oil is valerian. A lot of people use valerian and love it. Um, Tranquil is a roll-on that you can use and you could just roll it onto your wrists or to other points in your body on your, um, right here, believe it or not, right here is a great spot for that. Um, things like that are gonna help. We diffuse lavender 
and cedar wood in our diffuser throughout the night. My husband applies them to his feet. Um, we apply them to our children's feet and we apply um, different oils depending on what they need to continue a restful night's sleep in addition to diffusing. Diffusing gets it in the air, keeps it going longer because your body absorbs and processes oils in two hours. Two hours. So it'll get you to sleep and will help with your sleep but will not keep you asleep. Diffusing keeps it going, keeps it in your in your body. Um, my husband loves bergamot. That's bergamot vi oh, fly. Bergamot vitality. Um, he puts some in his tea at night. It's a grounding oil. Look up grounding oils. Look up grounding. You want to ground yourself. You want to bring yourself down and relax and repair. Sleep is vital. Sleep is vital for more than one reason. More than making this like this. You've got to get it. As a mom, I know we don't get it very often. And it, and it leads to us catching the things that our kids bring home. Do what you can. If that is putting a fan in your room to keep it cooler so you're sleeping cooler, do that. Sleep, 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 sleep. I will post these things also. If you have questions, ask. But ladies, we need our sleep. All right, I think I've harped enough.